the beautiful lovely Ruthie songbird asked me on a tutorial on how I edit in the the backgrounds when I use my green screen and this is my green screen right here first things first you do want to start with the green screen second thing you want to make sure that it's lit properly I'm actually going to be doing um, a screen record first thing you want to do is select your clip now I have a clip from a video that I'm going to be posting this week. It is part two to what I learned, what my marriage and divorce taught me about relationships, myself and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to mute it here so it's not annoying to you guys going back and forth with all the scrubbing. Okay, so you pick your clip. I'm just going to pick from here to here because I don't like the way my armpit looks. All right, I'm going to pick the clip from here to here. Just something really quick. And then what I do, now I was actually starting to edit the video, but you just pick a small clip and we're gonna see how it looks in the keyer. So this is Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm not sure of which, uh, which thing it is. You can actually get a preview when you hover over the effect. If you go like this, you can get a preview of what it's gonna look like. So it's actually a really clean green screen. I have a little bit of, um, hold on, I'm gonna put it on there since it looks good. I have a little bit of fading here in here but that's okay because of the type of background that I'm going to be using now you can import files from Google which I have done before which means you would just go to Google and you would just search for an image that you want right click and then save the image um, and then you could put it under here where I'm going to go but I'm just going to show you got you guys the one I like to use because um, I feel like in Final Cut Pro the backgrounds are I don't know because sometimes my green screen gives me shadow blah, blah, blah. sometimes my green screen will give me shadows and when it gives me shadows it doesn't look as good um, it just kind of looks like there's a space if you look in a, a few of my other videos you can kind of see the shadow a little bit but um, I just like to work with where is it solid no hold on textures this one so the one that you guys seem to like was the stone it looks like it's just a picture of a stone and then you put it behind there and then look at that you can't even tell where I like to make it the length of the video so I'll zoom in just to make sure that they end on the same thing so it doesn't look tacky but isn't it cool how you can I'm just gonna make it bigger for you guys you can't even see the the fuzziness here when you use this one um, but I'm gonna show you the difference so if I just use a file from Google now you see how this image came from online um, and I don't know what the difference is that I would have to research for y'all if y'all want to know uh, how you can fix that I'll figure it out and then I'll show you guys but you can see it in the corners here hold on let me make it a little bit bigger it's my first time doing like a tutorial like this but you can see it here and a little bit here I guess wherever there's black at you know you're gonna be able to see how it looks and it does look a little bit different it's not all the way um, lined up right as far as quality goes um and sometimes you can even adjust your hue like here i look a little bit more pale this is actually what i look like on this camera this is my skin tone but here it definitely makes me look a little bit more washed out because your green screen can do that and there is a way to fix it if you want me to show you that video just leave a comment down below on this one and I'll show you how you can kind of adjust your skin tone so it looks more realistic in reference to your green screen but thank you so much for watching this video if this video helped you please leave it you know give it a thumbs up I would love to post more techie how I edit type of videos for y'all because I love editing so if you would like a video on how I edit my videos how I cut where I get my images from how I edit my thumbnails anything like that just go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and i'll be glad to share it with y'all but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye